in the name of the Father, Son, one God, Amin. The third week of the 50 days waiting the Holy Spirit to renew his work in the church once again. Christ is risen. Now, good morning, we are still asleep. Christ is risen. Yes, and when he rose from the death, we also were raised. He came, he took flesh and became man. And he saved us on the cross. And he gave us a new life in the resurrection. Not only this, but he sent the Holy Spirit, one of the Trinity, the fullness of God in the Spirit, to dwell in the church and in each of us. We received this when we were baptized. Baptism is death and the resurrection. Death from the world, from the old man, from the sinful nature, and raising again in the life of Christ to live according to God's will and according to what he is commanding us to be. I'll tell you a story today, small story, then two comments and then we close. Today the gospel is about the living water. Last week was about the living bread. I am the bread of life. And we normally say, I need something to eat and I need something to drink. Normal. And as we eager and look for the earthly food, Christ is the only source and the provider of all our need. So he gave us his body to live and he gave us the spirit to go for and grow every day by day. The story is back then in 2004. I was serving in Africa, as you know, and we went to a trip to Congo. Congo is almost Central Africa. And Africa, with all the, these resources, they have very limited resources to preserve water. So water is a big issue in Africa, big issue. So we were supposed to build a church in a very isolated place. We prepared everything to build the church. We bring the stones, we bring the rocks to put the foundation, we bring the cement, we bring the, the workers, we bring the tools, and everything was ready. And everything was prepared. And while we were searching to start the water, to start the work, we discovered that there is no water. And if there is no water, nothing can be done. So what we shall do? God is my witness. I found a small kid, like three or four years old, like pulling me from my galabaya, from my tunic. And he pushed me. There was like a bush. And I, w I walked with him almost 100 meters. And we found a spring of water, natural water, coming out of the land. Now the other problem, how can we get the water from 100 meters to the site? We brought a drum, empty drum, and imagine the kids from four years up to eight years, I can't forget, two girls were carrying their sisters on their bag. And each one of them carry a small bottle, like a soda bottle. And we make a queue to bring the water from the well and fill the drum so we can build the church. And in the middle of the day, I was giving the Bible study and we eat together. And for 15 days, those kids, by the one who saw me the water, by through their work and through the water they found, the church was built. I'm saying this story because we can do anything in the church, but without the Holy Spirit, we, are, we will remain thirsty. The living water, Today, the story of the Samaritan woman. This is the second time we hear this story. And we're going to hear it again in the day of the Pentecost. In the land, they direct us to how to go back to God. Today, the gospel is clear about who is the Holy Spirit and how can we get the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. What is the Spirit of God? It's God breathing. And when God breathed, God gave life. Me and you, without the light of the Lord, 
without the spirit of the Lord we are dead it's like a full house but no one lives there there's no one enjoying it's like a house but there is no love in this house life at that time equal emptiness and void and sometimes hell I'm very sad to hear such young boys sometimes and even youth they said life is hell you know life is hell is why because life goes without the Spirit of God so why God meant to give the Holy Spirit and what is the simple there's some examples of whales we have you know very well that to dig a whale is very expensive anyone knows about that to dig I know here water is running water you have water everywhere but to dig a whale it's quite expensive and it takes a lot of effort to dig a whale down to get water and while you're digging the water there is two things you might see number one the water might not be sweet it will be a bit sour number two you know very well that at the end the whale will end and I have to look for another what whale and this is my own journey I hope it is not yours when we look for other whales to to quench our thirst and while my heart is still looking for satisfaction people are looking for whales for positions and they are looking the more the higher they get the higher they feel satisfied but at the same time position will end people will look for pleasure and the Bible said they drink their iniquities like water and yet it is not satisfied so position is a whale pleasure is a whale fame is a whale as well I want to be known whether I do wrong or bad or right I want to be known it's another whale and money is another whale the more you got money the more you will feel secured and unfortunately those four areas one day will be done so God is asking me and you to be smart enough and look for the fountain which will never be taken from you the Holy Spirit the woman came from two whales the whale of unsatisfied life and the whale of such a religious life without a depth with God she knew that there is a worship somewhere and she knew that there is a Messiah and she knew Jacob and she knew all the history but inside is still empty so he met her and this is the first step to receive the Spirit of God you should meet Christ one to one I know my fathers and I we are pushing every effort that each one of us will start a real relationship with the Jesus Christ real one not attending the church only not taking communion only not attending the feast only but having a personal relationship you know him and he know you the woman was a stranger but till this moment she became very close to Christ till she met him and I read the verses it's 45 verses those this talk talk like 20 minutes maximum 20 minutes but what is the outcome of the 20 minutes three big issues number one she was satisfied number two she left her past number three she went and tell the others about Christ and this is the real meeting with Christ if you meet him really if the Spirit of God will lead you you cannot leave this place you wish to stay with him all day long I know that in this life now we have we have the best friend our phones he's my best friend <coughs> but unfortunately if you google how to know Christ even you won't see it you have to experience it one to one google anything you can google meeting Christ it's a personal experience you can buy anything from Amazon I understand this but you cannot buy the spirit free spirit in your heart to satisfy your soul you cannot buy it it is free Shankeda my dear brother and sister today God is pouring the same spirit in the church and the woman is not in 2000 years ago the woman is each of us she's searching for a whale and he's giving her the spring of 
water. He told her clearly, I am, I am the living water. Whoever receives the water which I give shall never be thirst. But out of him come, look at this, a spring of water brings what? Eternal life. There's some people when you come across them, they bring death. And other they bring what? Life. Who are you among them? And I have this third small example. You know when you are very thirsty, the first thing dry is your what? Huh? Your what? Lips and tongue. And if you are far from God, far from the Spirit, the first thing dry is your words. What you say is very dry and is very harsh. Are your words are harsh? Your tongue still not bring sweetness of life. I need the spirit today. Today she came very aggressive. How come you ask? Look at the end. Give me what? The water. When you sit with the Lord, he changed your wells into springs of water. When you open the Bible, the living water comes to you. When you partake the communion and we sit in your quiet time and we really seek the spirit. The Bible said in Luke 11, how come a father, his son asked him for a, for a fish and he gave him a scorpion or an egg and gave him a stone. He said the father will give you the spirit to those who seek it and ask it. Seek the spirit today. If there is part in your life still dry, you need the spirit of the Lord to come and quench our heart and quench our thirst. Last story, in 2003, I remember very well, there was huge floods in Australia, huge floods. And they were like underwater for almost 25 days. But after the 25 days, they discovered that the water which came, when the water receded and go somewhere else, it gave life to almost 100, sorry, 1 million acre. Bring life again into the wilderness. How hopeful is this story? No matter how far are you, God will reach you and the water will reach you. And instead of being an empty land, a dry land, a desert, each of us will be a farm and a whale and, and a spring of water bring life to every one. May God give us today again, in this day, to seek for the living water. Whales will be empty one day, and whales are expensive. No one, none of us searching for something without a cost, you will pay it, except with God. He paid it all, and he gave it to you, what? Freely. So you may be having this eternal life found from your heart day by day. I wish you all a pleasant day. And I wish you all today, if your life is dry, if your words are dry, if you are still searching, say today it is the end. I want the living what? Water. Go back. Meet Christ one to one like this woman. Meet him every day. Sit with him every day. He's coming not to stir the water, I mean the stagnant water. No, he comes to give the living water. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.